Hello everybody, and welcome back to more Let's Play Sonic Adventure DX. Last time, Big made a fool out of us. In this time, we will continue on with the craziness of Big the Cat. Hopefully he won't annoy us this much this time. Somehow, I doubt that. Considering it's Big the Cat. <laughs> Anyways. So, that entire time we were there, apparently Froggy was also in Sand Hill at the exact same time. Apparently we caught Froggy and then it bounced all the way off to Sand Hill and then we, we dozed off for about, I don't know, 10 hours. And then Tails found Froggy. Oh god. Jeez. Oops. Oh, great. Just consider your losses big, seriously. Sorry, if I had only held on tighter. That's eh, okay. It's not too bad anyways. Alright, so one thing now is I'm going to get two more upgrades for Big. Alright, so the first being his... What is it? Big Rod or whatever? No sexual pun intended, by the way. <laughs> okay, I should think before I speak sometimes. And another lure for him. Um, anyways, one thing is, this is one feature I haven't showed off because it isn't really necessary, but I'm going to show it off now. Now, if you go into the menu, you actually have a map button. This is something that was not added in the original Sonic Adventure game. This is actually an added extra for the DX port. Um, so as you can see, we need to head over to Big's house. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over there and I will be back once I get there to get the next upgrade. So I'll see you guys then. Okay guys, I kind of lied a little bit because on my way to Big's house, there's actually a, another path you can take. And if you actually go back here, this is actually where the lore upgrade is. And then I have that, blah, 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 blah. I can catch bigger fish, don't really care. I will move on to Big's house, which is not too far away, but I'll still cut back when I get there. So, see you guys when I'm there. Okay, guys, I'm here, and it's time to get glitched on another object. <sighs> Big is the biggest model in the entire- Did I just walk through that? Good job, Sega. Anyways, what you want to do, you lift this up, you can throw your bed, or just put it sideways, either way. Just pick it up big and walk there and get the next upgrade. What the heck is the name of this? It's the power rod. Power rod. We now have longer casting distance. Awesome. So basically, I can just cast out longer. Hooray. So I'm going to cut back once we move on to the next area. And by next area, we're going to Station Square. So I'll see you in Station Square. <sighs> Big. Why a Game Boy gotta be so boring, dude? Why Game Boy gotta be so boring? Okay, guys, I'm back in Station Square, and now, once I head out of the station, another cutscene's gonna happen where I see where the frog got to again. I don't. How is this frog moving around, honestly? This thing is moving faster than a giant purple cat riding a train. That or Big is just getting lazy and. Either that or has narcolepsy and fallen asleep for like a good three or four hours because honestly, look at the time of day it is right now. This makes no sense as to why Big is here. It's it, it's mind baffling at this point, figuring out how fast this frog is moving. My only explanation is as I just stated. This this makes no sense in A. Hey, it's the two plastic sex dolls again. We haven't seen you since, like, part one. Um, I'm just gonna walk away now. Anyways, stage three, Emerald Coast. Man, when was the last time we came to Emerald Coast? Oh yeah, Sonic Scenario. And I actually like this track. This is not a bad track right here. So, let's just make this quick and not dilly-dally. So, Froggy's over here. Cast our lure. Look, uh, here. Hey, Froggy. 
Come here. Come on. I'm not gonna do anything to you. Except for catching you. Wow, that was the fastest I've ever completed this stage. That was impressive. Alright. Well, one less stage done. 31 seconds. That's amazing. Whew. Now, you're probably wondering at this point. Well, I'll talk about it in a second. We just got frog jacked. By a robot. Uh -oh. Gamma. We need that. Please give it back. No, hold on there. Come back, please. No, you're gonna extend the gameplay time, time a little bit longer. No, you a-hole. You a-hole. Skipping the next cutscene because we've seen it already. <sighs> Come on, load screen. And now suddenly we got on the Eggman's ship. Froggy? Secretly. This place doesn't look familiar to me at all. That's how he's getting it everywhere. Oh, big? He smells like froggies around somewhere. Oh, see what's behind okay. this door. That was the weirdest damn thing ever. I, I mean, it would make more sense if the fact that Big this is maybe earlier to sense Froggy, but uh, this was given no indication at all, so that was just absolutely strange. Anyways, as I was trying to say before the cutscene happened, you're probably wondering at this point, what is the significance of Big's gameplay? And why is it even in this game? It doesn't make any sense. And for that, I have to say, I agree. It doesn't make any sense why this is in this game at all. But the main reason why is back when this game was originally developed for the Dreamcast, Sega Team was actually developing a um, new gameplay for a... Well, not Sonic game. For a fishing video game. And it didn't really do too well, but... The whole reason why is they want people to be interested in the fishing game. Hence, Big the Cat. Anyways, we're on to the last stage, Hot Shelter. Honestly, it's it's a little bit underwhelming. It's This fishing in this scenario is actually really boring. There's a lot more stuff that you can do in these areas as Big the Cat, but honestly, I don't feel like showing them up because... It's Big the Cat. They're, all you really show off is the fact that, hey, uh, Big can go to these different areas and catch bigger fish, but the fastest way to end most of these levels is just to catch Froggy. That's about it. Don't worry about anything else. <sighs> but other than that, it is time for Big to put on his rape face. I see you, Froggy. Oh, yes, Froggy. It's time for you to come out you to me. My help. That face is the face of a crazy serial killer, rapist, whatever. That thing is creepy. Now, if you turn this way, Froggy should be in the water. You have to wait until the water rises. There we go. And if you cast it over here, if you're lucky enough, you should pass by and you don't have to deal with catching Froggy. Huh. <sighs> okay. Let's go frog. Yes! Okay, Froggy. Come here. Yes, please, 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 come on, please. No. Froggy. Froggy. Please. Froggy. Come here. Froggy, just take it! Ah! Stupid mother. <sighs> I'm just gonna cut back until I catch the frog, because honestly, you don't have to wait. You mother. There we go! Time to catch this stupid thing. Woo! There we go. That was annoying, but it didn't take too long. Yeah, two minutes and 35 seconds. Not too bad. Better than nothing, honestly. Better than nothing. And with that, we have finally finished yeah. all big stages, thankfully. But now something really stupid's about to happen. 
Tokal is gonna take us back we in time. Get it last, huh? Why? Wait, wasn't uh -huh. the call just right behind you? Wait, what? There's two! Uh, d what? Wait a minute. There was to the call there, and then the one that. Time paradox. Where am I? He is a time Lordy? lord, everyone. I swear it. Creepiest damn time lord, uh, to say, but he is a time lord nonetheless. Alright, so now for a really. Insignificant, underwhelming cutscene for to call that involves big. Again, wow. big. Why him? For Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, yes. Amy, big. Gamma. We haven't gotten to Gamma yet, but no. So do you? No. Trust me. Maybe. So these no, are the wait. Seven I don't know if I'm talking to myself or I'm talking to the call. I don't know at this point. Yes, those are all the seven chaos symbols, even though you see four of them and not the other three. Mm -hmm. <gasps> and there it is, the Master Emerald. It's not like we've seen this thing, what, a billion times at this point? The servers are the seven chaos emeralds. Unified by one that is the controller. Mm-hmm. All the magical chaos. chaos emeralds. The chaos. The controller itself. Yes. Have you gotten an epiphany? The emerald that controls the seven chaos? <gasps> By the deuce, she thinks she has it. Hi, Watson. We must tell her the truth. She is in turn correct. I don't know what is up with me today, but I don't care. Wait, we saw off the frog? I'll let that Froggy? happen. I don't like the looks of this place. What do you mean? You were in here previously. If something <laughs> happens now, there's no point to my rescuing you. I don't know who would bother to save us both. Um. A blue hedgehog. We better get moves at the speed buddy. of sound. Name starts with an S. Nah. Thankfully, because we switched modes. Ugh. So we don't have to see the ship transformation for the upteenth time. But now we can just activate the monorail and then get on with our lives. Go, monorail, go! I don't want to be here anymore. Let's just take on the final boss of Big Scenario and then get on with it. Now, the thing with Big Scenario, his final boss is... It's Chaos 6. And you're wondering, well, how do we take on Chaos 6? That's a good question. We don't. Sonic does. What we do is kind of weird. One sec. Look at Chaos 4 just spazzing out. I I'm just surprised. What? Now I... What? Now the cutscene activate... This game is so glitchy at times. I don't know what's wrong with it. See, that's how Froggy escapes. He just puts it on the ground. Don't worry, Froggy. You'll be fine. And then it hops away. Froggy, why are you jumping towards that monster? That's not cool. So, I see you're trying to escape. I'm right on time. Who yeah, are you? Grab him. Get that frog. And don't forget the Chaos Emerald. Yeah, duh, don't forget about Eggman's psychic powers and grab that very poorly designed, like, frog. Look at him. Wait, he still had a Chaos Emerald inside of him? Well, that makes sense how it transformed into Chaos 6. But why did it eat a second Chaos Emerald? I don't think that's even possible for a frog to do. Oh, there's Chaos. Six. For the frog. Yes, it needs its tail. tail. Mm-hmm. Once you get your tail, you'll be complete and ultra strong. And then you could destroy the entire world. I mean, honestly, Chaos Six kind of looks like a frog if you think about it, so it makes sense why Froggy's actually inside of it. 
And then it lost its tail, and then Chaos 6 gained its tail, and then... You know what's funny? Chaos 4 looks like it did have a tail for some reason, but now it officially has a tail? Okay. Hi, Sonic. Look what happened. Yeah, I know. It's completely yeah, ridiculous. I didn't do anything. I just stood right here while my friend got eaten by a giant water monster. I think it's drowning. But aren't frogs amphibians? Maybe. Anyways, now it is time to take on Chaos 6 as big. I like how he said that didn't even open his mouth. Actually, what is one time that Big has opened his mouth in this entire scenario? None. Anyways, Chaos 6. Chaos 6 can either be the longest fight in the entire game, or the shortest one. Hopefully he will be very short, because all you have to do is hopefully you aim correctly and watch out for the giant jumping, and then aim and shoot, and there we go. Okay, and that was Chaos 6, everybody. 14 seconds. Yeah! Nailed it. Hooray! Oh, God, my frog's back. Oh, it's so fast. Huh? I don't even know you. I'm just gonna go now. We're gone. <sighs> Big the cat. Big the cat. Ugh. Anyways, so what is a giant Big the cat to do? Jump off the side, kind of land in the ocean? Because, I mean, we have our, 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 our life belt, right? No, we're going to do something completely illogical that makes no sense. We're going to steal Tails' very highly advanced... Biplane. Why? Because apparently Big can fly it. Don't know how. This is gonna end in disaster, isn't it? I think so. But apparently not for Big. Not at all. Somehow he's able to fly the plane. Again, it makes no sense. Oh, whatever. And with that, we are finally done with Big Scenario. And honestly, I'm glad because this part of the story, as short as it is, is also a major hindrance in really underwhelming gameplay. But, I mean, I could go into more details right now, but I'll explain more as I do the recap, as usual. It's easier to do a recap than just explain it right here, but I could, because there's nothing really significant they're doing right now, except for fishing. Really. There wasn't even any, like, small fish in that pond. Hey, everybody, I'm the king! Apparently the frog believes it. I don't know how he got up there. Anyways, that was big. So I'll see you guys for the recap. Big. Hello and welcome to the recap for Big Story. Okay, so Big Story is, well, to sum it up in a nutshell, Sega's Fishing All-Stars minigame Sonic Adventure DX. <sighs> I gotta say this right now, I did not really enjoy Big's scenario at all, and his story was significant, somewhat more significant than Amy's, but at the same time, it wasn't really too much significant where I'm like, <gasps> this is awesome, he's worth the plot, he's, he's not really, and the same goes for Amy. Most of the things that I believe that this game has a problem with it has to do with having multiple scenarios that don't really work out so well. Big and Amy are included in this. Gamma story-wise is kind of like the heck, 
but at least Gamma's gameplay is fun. Big and Amy's, not so much. I gotta say, I didn't really enjoy Big's fishing minigame. And like I mentioned him before while doing the LP, Big's significance in this game was to kind of promote uh, Sega fishing. <laughs> and did it really sell well? Not really. <laughs> but other than that, it's not really too important to the plot of the story. It's just kind of there. I would love to have skipped this part of the game, but you got to complete it to do everything in the game. So with that, I'm just going to leave you with the end credits. In the end credits, we have Lazy Days by Ted Pulley. And by end credits, I mean end in music. So, I'll see you guys for the final character in the game, Gamma. See you guys later.